Welcome back, everybody. It's Jeff again with Jane K. Stay in Vegas with another episode of Walk with Jeff. Today we're at the Las Vegas Premium Outlets on the southern end of the Strip. We did uh, the north a couple months ago, and now it's time to do the south. And plus, it's extremely hot. If you uh, have been keeping up on all our Vegas content, you know we broke the record for heat. And just like July would have it, a monsoon is rolling in and I already got raindrops falling on my head, make they fall in, and I'm not gonna sing the rest of the song. So I gotta get inside so I don't get wet. So let's get this walk underway with our 30 minute timer. And there's some thunder, let's go. Raindrops right there. So unlike the Northern Outlets, which is a completely outdoor mall, this one is all indoor. So you can definitely cool off from the heat and get out of the rain as well. But at least I can kind of show you around, see what's in here if you've never been in here before. I mean, at the end of the day, it's another mall, but you might find something on this walk that you go like, oh, I need to check that out. So that's what we're gonna do. Be a kid and play. That's pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been into this uh, outlet. So some of these things might be new for me as well, including this. I don't remember this being here before. It's a huge arcade right at the very southern end of the outlets here. Let's see what the name of it is. Arcade, oh, this is round one. I've heard about this. Food menu. They got Japanese food. Wow. Oh yeah, I could definitely see that. A definite Japanese vibe in here. Look at this. Let's go take a look. I'm kind of curious. Look at all these. Yeah, this isn't your typical U.S. arcade. Anime stuff. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. Very loud in here. Do they have any classic games, I wonder? Not seeing any classic games yet. Driving games. Got some air hockey. And a huge driving game here. Asphalt Legends. Even more of these style of machines here. Come on, I'm old. Where's my uh, asteroids and space invaders? I got the uh, like carnival games here. So far, no classic games over here. What is this? Let's bounce. Ah, here's the giant one. A giant space invaders. Nice. Oh, it's it's the shooting kind. A real shooting kind. I have never played one of these. Man, how old do I sound? <laughs> 
right, let's keep going. The rest of the outlets here. That's about as far as all classic games in here. But definitely the uh, Japanese vibe, including Japanese uh, food. I also got pizzas here as well. And some beer too. Places to eat out here. Cool. All right, let's continue our walk here. They got another five below coming right here. Coming soon, it says. Cape Out 1004. So being that this is an outlet, you can get some good deals here. I found some, uh, some even dress shoes here. So lots of places to explore and save some bucks. Clean a Samsonite store right here. In case you need to get more luggage to take more of your stuff back home. This is Volcom. It's like uh, shirts, a lot of guys' apparel, it looks like. Zumez. Again, all these videos, everybody, are in 4K HDR. So if you have an HDR compatible TV, this will come up. You don't even need to do anything. You shouldn't need to do anything, but you should always check your settings on YouTube. Sometimes it defaults to a lower setting. So make sure you at least turn on 4K. We got some tacos and Wetzel's pretzels. And some Korean street food over here. And some tacos. So a couple more stores down there. If we have time, we'll get to those. Oh, look at this cute little ice cream truck next to the Reebok store. Macarons and cannolis. Some of these stores I've never heard of. Box Lunch is a clothing store. Let me know you guys if you've heard some of these stores. Because I haven't. Looks like a younger store here. Even got Hey Dude. That's funny. Looks like it's a shoe place. There are a lot of shoe places in here, which is good when you're like me and you're looking for some. We've got uh, the Vans outlet over here. 
puma as well. Windsor, looks like ladies fashion. Hot Topic, man, I have not been in one of these in a long time. I just, you know, sorry. Kids just don't know to look in front of them. <laughs> so this mall is fairly long and it's got a lot of things here. And again, it's good to get out of the, the elements outside, whether it's heat or in this case, rain, a monsoon coming. We like monsoons though. Weather gets much cooler. And here's a Levi's store. Quicksilver. And they've been around for years. If you have been to this outlet or the uh, the north outlets like we recorded before, let me know if you've been to both or if you prefer one over the other. Even though it's outside, I think I prefer the north one. But they do have a lot of stores here as well. Express, factory outlet. They actually have a men's one on the north one as well. Hello. And like any mall, you gotta play dodgeball while you're walking. Locker room by lids. Some Padre hats here, nice. I wonder if JJ knows this. I think he does. I think he actually bought one down here. Calvin Klein. So it's an outlet here, means you'll actually get decent prices. Calvin Klein's typically really expensive, as you may know. And another food court over here. Oh, they got a Dairy Queen and Orange Julius here. And a Boba Blastic, Boba Tea, Rubio's, Sabaro, and what, Fuwa? Noodle Station. Not familiar with a couple of these, but yeah. Another food court, just gotta keep walking so you get some different choices. Tommy Hilfiger. And one thing, I love how people just stand right in front of you. It's crazy. No self awareness. They got a Skechers down here. Love me some Skechers. They also have one in the Grand Canal shops at Venetian. But they also have a, a few of them around the city that we visit from time to time. Nice comfy shoes. Aeropasta, or however the heck you say it. Another uh, souvenir store across the way, Viva Vegas. Timberland. Hmm. 
And of course, even if you don't even want to buy anything, it's a good, good place to people watch. Malls are always a good place to people watch. Do we still have mall walkers? Do we still have, because, you know, malls have really died. And uh, I know with some of these abandoned malls that they've actually just turned them into like offices that people do like mall walking. Columbia Sportswear Company is the end all the way down here on the northern side. And then outside, if you want some restaurants all along Las Vegas Boulevard, just right outside any of these doors are a lot of food options. So you've got everything from Chili's to Outback, um, Five Guys, a whole bunch of places. So if you don't want just food court stuff, you can go out there and you can just walk out there. You don't have to drive to it. but get some different food options out there. Nike store over here, pretty busy. I don't wear Nikes anymore. It was a very uh, 80s thing for me. see how the weather's doing outside before we turn around come back in may get a glance of some of those other restaurants that are over here wind has definitely picked up feel the hot air now but it definitely has cooled down a little bit <laughs> yeah, it's still uh still raining a little bit oh I am not going to get caught in this. So anyway, there's where these restaurants are over here. Buffalo Wild Wings is over there, so a lot of different air places to eat. But I'm going to go back inside so I don't get rained on. At least not yet. Oshkosh. Noticing a lot of, uh, of course, like the Korean street food and that K-pop store, a lot of uh, Asian influenced restaurants and some stores, which is really cool. Boss over there, which is uh, menswear. Pretty expensive even on the outlet stores I have found. Spencers. Man, I remember them in the 80s. Kind of like Hot Topic. Parking in rear. Auntie Anne's over here. Doesn't every mall have one of these? this other side here. And Cinnabon is coming soon. What would a mall be without a Cinnabon as well? Coming next to this fragrance outlet. Just in case. Here is at a Viva Vegas store, your souvenirs and stuff. So this is the Calvin Klein women's outlet over here. And Skechers here. I'm sure everybody knows about Skechers. Very comfy shoes. Acoste. 
It's like menswear. I've not ever been in there before. And Tommy Hilfiger. Even the outlet here is pretty expensive. One of the few exceptions to expensive stores that in the outlet is really good prices. So I went, I like to go to Banana Republic. I wouldn't normally because it's way too expensive. If you go to the Banana Republic in downtown Summerlin, holy cow, is it expensive. Plus they barely have a men's section at all. But the Banana Republic down at the North Outlet Malls, super good deals. That's where I like to go. Another exit going out, everybody's getting a little scared of the rain. Wetzel's Pretzels and a famous footwear outlet here as well. Find some good shoes in there as well. I'm not gonna get harassed by the, uh, I don't even think they're selling cell phones. I would hate to have that job. Just trying to get business. Oh yeah, I did find some good dress shoes in here. Believe it or not. So this is why we went by the Calvin Klein men. So they have both separate stores. Dickies over here. There's that locker room by Lids. One thing also too, well I'll mention Crocs over here. Who likes some Crocs? I don't have the, uh, I don't know if it's called the stomach for them. People swear by them and say they're really comfy, but I don't know, I just cannot, they're not very fashionable. So, I don't know. But what was I saying? Oh yeah. So the one thing that's good about this place that's a pause over the northern outlets is the music is just in the background where it should be. If you remember the north outlets, even though they were outside, music's blasting out there. Hey dude. Stylish, light, easy, comfort. And a Starbucks. Look at that. A little longer hallway. Let's see what's down here. Every time I feel bad about myself and I go like, man, I gotta eat a little better. But I'm happy that I haven't really gained a lot of weight. And I'm like, oh, you know, that's great. Christina said, well, it's not surprising you walk everywhere. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Beef jerky. All righty, Claire's. Girly stuff, earrings, all that. And over here is the Banana Republic factory store. And this one's pretty comparable to the one over at the Northern Outlets. Prices are really good. Of course, the men's section is a quarter of the store compared to the women's. Let's see if it's still raining outside. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, just really windy. Has stopped raining. Our rain does not last long when the monsoon, but if it does come up, it literally just pours. A lot of dark clouds, that's for sure. All right, let's head back inside. Here are the hours. Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m.
So yeah, this store is pretty big. I'd say it's about the same size, or maybe a little bit bigger than the one on the north side. North outlets, I should say. The children place outlet over here. So you got the kiddos, or you need to bring something back. Or even our locals that live here that have, don't make it down here very often. Vegas sports and hockey, nice. Well, I got a whole bunch of Vegas Golden Knight shirts. Buy one, get one half off. Very cool. O'Neill's. Some suits and all that fun stuff. Oakley. Of course, the Starbucks over here. Karl Lagerfeld, Paris. Savarsky. Get the fish spot over here. I haven't yet to try that at all. Lane Bryant outlet over here. There's that Puma store again. Aldo over here. Clark Bostonian. Find some dress shoes in there as well. And ladies shoes, of course. Sorry to not mention the ladies. I'm just thinking from my own experience, that's all. And this uh, Reebok outlet over here. We just walked that way They got the more stores down here. DKNY is over here. Short little one hallway down here. Let's see what's down here at the corner. I'm not too sure what the name of this is. Jun oh, is it Junior City or Ricity? I don't know, let me in the comments if you've ever heard of this place. Looks like it's a uh, uh, girly, heels, all that stuff. Always get a massage or something else here. Lucky Brianna's over here. And Lee Wrangler next door to that. Charlotte Roos outlet. Remember that was huge back in the day with girls. Always getting clothes in here. 
still skews on the younger side. And then you got Broad's toys and collectibles over here. A whole bunch of pop figurines and probably a whole bunch of cool stuff. Check that out if you're interested. And with that, everybody, our timer's done. Man, that 30 minutes went by fast. If you've made it to the end of this video, please put monsoon in the comments. That way I know you've watched to the end. And we really appreciate you watching, especially if you made it to the end. Again, everybody, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Walk With Jeff. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to JK Stay in Vegas. And as ever, if you want to be notified to all of our new videos, make sure and hit that notification bell and turn on all notifications to be alerted to every time we post a new video or when we go live. All right, everybody, until the next one, you know it. Stay safe and stay silly. Bye-bye, everybody.